One of the first videos I did for this channel was a year ago and it was a handy Gridfinity case and this similar print has been trending on printables recently so let's see what makes this one special and what you need to watch out for if you print it. Even in the smaller versions this one can take a little while to print depending on your printer. There's a few sizes to choose from but if you know on shape there's a link in the model description where you can create a copy of the original file and modify the number of bins to exactly what you need. Be careful modifying any other parameters that you don't break the Gridfinity standard sizing otherwise you'll have to create your own custom boxes as well. I chose the 3x4 version and I printed in matte black, white and fire engine red for the hinges and latch. There's built-in brims where you need them around the corners and even mouse ears built in on the latch and hinges. To be honest though, I prefer to add brims myself where I know my printer is going to have trouble. But it might be handy for newcomers. So why is this one better than the one I printed and made a video about a year ago and use basically every day? The most obvious difference is the option of a clear top so you can see inside without opening. I had a bunch of poster frames in the garage and one was broken so I cut one of the sheets up from that. The material I was using was 0.75mm thick and for the downloadable models that was perfect. I linked to some I found on Amazon that would be suitable as well. If you want to use thicker or thinner you may want to make a copy of the model in on shape like I spoke about before and adjust the measurements and then export for your print. It's done pretty easily by pausing and then just inserting the pre-cut piece of clear plastic at the right point and then continuing the print on top. Process works quite well, except for user error on my part. For this one, I cut a little angle on one side, but it recovered and printed okay and came out fine. The other advantage of this one is that besides the window part, if you're printing the window version, there's no extra hardware required. The hinges are all held in place with some scrap filament as the pins. There is a calibration part that I didn't print, but I should have. The filament used for the hinges was tight for me, too tight, and I think I would have seen that with the calibration print. It's easy to drill out the latch holes, just a tiny bit, but almost impossible to get into the box holes and make them slightly bigger so you want to make sure that that's right. I ended up using some wire that I had that was thin enough to fit but a bit tricky to maneuver into the holes. It did get in and I feel like it'll last a lot longer than the filament. When I say this was fiddly to get the wire through I am not kidding, some of this is sped up 8,000 times. It literally took about an hour and a half to get the wire through. So definitely do the calibration print and check that you can use the filament. The latch went in a lot easier because there's only one part that you're lining up. So you shouldn't have any problem with that. To answer the most common question people had last time I printed one of these, isn't it cheaper to buy a container? To break it down, for me, this one costs about $1.76 US in filament. There's a few cents to run the printer and if you have to buy the clear sheet, so let's say an even $2 for argument's sake and I'm going to use US dollars. The biggest percentage of viewers for the channel is US and most people can convert easily to their own currency. I checked online and there's definitely options around the same price. Not as cool looking, but functionally this the same. Still nothing that is as cheap though, so it wins there. There's also the fact that for me, I have Gridfinity in drawers in my study, as well as my garage, my kitchen, even my caravan. So I can quickly grab a case like this pick up just the bins I want from wherever, 
and carry just what I need to wherever I need to use it. If you're into that kind of thing, you can print bins or cases in specific colors for sorting to keep things organized as well, which you may not always be able to get the color you want if you're buying something. So I say it's worth it, especially if you have Gridfinity around, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. And you can go back down memory lane to the first Gridfinity case I printed, like in this video here, or check out the workshop tools playlist. Hope everyone found it useful. See you next time.